Welcome to everybody to Dave Jaguar 66. Just thought I'd pop this up. This is something a bit uh, out of the norm for me. It's normally cars or some other kind of project, but um, you know it's getting to, to, towards winter now, and of course all the the leaves are coming down, and and uh, everybody's starting to clean everything up, ready for the winter. Um, and we had a massive trailer, I just literally dumped it in the last 10 minutes, a uh, huge trailer load. And we had all the way around there, we, and around the other side of the house, around the front, we had uh, uh, bushes and we'd been, we'd had them for years, I don't know, I guess 10 years or more. And uh, about three or four years back, they started getting infested with these white butterflies, they were um, box. And uh, you know we tried and tried to, to, to keep them. They were all down the side there as well. Um, and we tried. We had to put poison on them and, and so on and so forth. And in the end, my wife said, you know, enough is enough, and we need to take them out. We can't uh, save them, and we're not going to keep putting poison on the ground. So we had to take them all out. This trailer was absolutely toppers with them. I mean, literally, it's probably two, two and a half volumes of that, plus all the leaves we get. We've got about two acres here. Um, so you can imagine. So this trailer really is multi-purpose. Uh, all the sides come up. It's a Hummer, double axle, about 800 kilos. Um, I bought it second-hand from a, a landscape gardener. And it, underneath it's got uh, the, the ramps. So all the sides come off and all the corners. And you can use it as a flatbed for a trailer or you can use it for you know, carrying other bits and pieces of it. I've used the, I used it a lot in the, in the six years I've owned it. But I just wanted to show you this. This is uh, the hydraulic system I have for it. This box doesn't sit in the car. It actually sits on here. You can see where I've tapped these holes on either side. But it's quite a struggle to get it on on your own. It's quite, it's quite heavy. You can imagine the hydraulic tank and motor. So I just popped it in the back, um, and, it, and it did the job. And I have a little, um, little uh, roller over there that I put it on. It's a bit easier to. When I'm not on my own, it's easy to put it on, but I just thought right, it's quicker this way. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how it works. Uh, the nice thing about this is it really is multi-purpose, this, because you can tilt it left or right. I mean, I'll tilt it now so you can actually see it. And you can see how it tilts. Um, well, it's tilting uh, to, the, to the right at the moment, but um, you can tilt it right or left or straight up, you know, go to the back. I mean... Very, very clever design, this, from Hummer. Um, you can see... You can see there how the, how the design is. What they've done is they've put it onto these balls and these half sockets so that you can see it on the other end. So if you only take two pins out, it'll tilt one way. And if you keep the pins on this end, obviously it'll tilt the other way. There you can see the ramps inside it. Uh, which are actually enclosed and you can see it goes behind the back of that uh, number plate you've got stabilizing legs there and then you've got these legs which over centers to, to lock the stainless steel ramps in place cracking trailer very very impressed with it um, so I've had it I don't know six years I guess but it is coming so handy I mean really multifunctional this thing um, actually the reason I did the little film was because uh, I've actually need to give it a wash out now. In fact, I'll leave it up while, while I'm washing it. But as I say, you can tilt it left, right, and if you obviously if you take the pins out of this end, you can tilt it backwards as well. Um, you can see how it works. It's actually on a like a gyro there almost, and then it's a ball joint in the centre. It's a classic idea, um, and, and I was lucky. I got it for a reasonable price, but I mean now these things are up to over twenty odd grand. Unbelievable, but they are galvanized chassis as well. Anyway, so that's uh, that's me posted up for the day. Um, for the Jaguar uh, enthusiasts, I'm still waiting for this 38 mil socket to come for the for the back axles or taking off the uh, the bearings for the back to the to the two back axles. Should be here tomorrow, but I will do some work on the mini today. And uh, welcome to George, who's just. Join the mini fraternity again after 15 years absence I think he's bought himself a shell and and we're going to keep in contact anyway take care guys and uh, as I say uh, really good trailer I mean anything that's multi-purpose like that's got to be a good bit of kit 
No, take care and bye for now. Bye.